This video explains how to sort box plots by their median value using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and the first examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to eight of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And we can print the first six rows of this data frame using the head function, as you can see in line nine of the code. So after running this line of code, our first six rows of the data set are returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, our data frame contains a values column, which contains numeric values and a group indicator. Now, if we would like to draw these data in a box plot using base R, then we could apply the box plot function as you can see in lines 11 and 12. So after running these lines of code, a new box plot graphic is appearing at the bottom right. However, you can see that at this point, our box plot is ordered based on the names of the different groups. So let's assume that we want to sort our box plot based on the median values in the boxes. Then we first have to reorder our data, as you can see in lines 14 to 17 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using the with function in combination with the reorder function and the median function. So after running lines 14 to 17 of the code, a new data object called group order is appearing at the top right. And we can print the content of this data object by running line 18 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object which contains information about the ordering of our median values. And now in the next step, we can once again use the box plot function. However, this time we specify our new data object group ordered within the box plot function. So after running lines 20 and 21 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our box plot is updated. And this time the group B is shown at the first position because this group has the lowest median and then the other boxes are shown depending on the median value. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the basic installation of the R programming language to draw a box plot graphic based on the median order. However, it's also possible to use the ggplot2 package for this task. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 23 of the code. So in order to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 23 and 24. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 24 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the ggplot and geomboxplot functions of the ggplot2 package to draw our box plot, as you can see in lines 26 to 29. So after running these lines of code, a new box plot graphic is appearing at the bottom right, which shows our boxes grouped alphabetically based on the group names. Now in the next step, we have to create a new data set with ordered boxes. And we can do that as you can see in lines 31 to 33 of the code. So in line 31 of the code, I'm first duplicating our input data frame because I also want to keep an original version of this data frame. So after running this line of code, a new data frame called data ordered is appearing at the top right. And then in the next step, I'm reordering our data based on the group column. And I'm replacing this column based on a new factor which contains our ordered group. Please note that I am once again using the group ordered data object that I have created in a previous step in lines 14 to 17 of the code. However, after running lines 32 and 33 of the code, our data is updated. And now in the next step, we can use our ordered data set within the ggplot function and then you can see after running lines 35 to 38 of the code that we have created another box plot graphic which shows our four boxes ordered by the median values. So until now I have explained how to order box plots in a graphic that is showing only main groups. However, it's also possible to order subgroups in a grouped box plot. And this is what I want to show you in the next example starting in line 40 of the code. 
So as a first step, we need to modify our example data frame to add also subgroups to our data frame. And we can do that in lines 40 and 41. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data subgroup is created. And we can print the first six rows of this new data frame by running line 42 of the code. And then you can see that we have extended our original data frame by another column, which is called subgroup. And this column, as the name indicates, contains subgroups. Now, in the next step, we could draw our group box plot, as you can see in lines 44 to 48 of the code. So in this case, I'm adding the fill argument to our syntax, and I'm setting this fill argument to be equal to our subgroup column. So after running lines 44 to 48 of the code, you can see that a grouped box plot graphic is appearing at the bottom right. And you can see that at this point, all the subgroups within our main groups are grouped alphabetically from A to E. However, let's assume that we want to sort each of these main groups individually so that within each main group, the subgroups are sorted based on the median value. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 50 to 60. So in this case, I'm once again using the ggplot function to specify our data set and our group and value columns. However, then I'm using the fill argument to reorder our data based on the median value. And then on top of this, I'm adding the different groups. So after running lines 50 to 60 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And this time, each of the main groups in our data is sorted based on the median. So for instance, the lowest median value in the main group A is shown in the box E. However, in the main group B, the subgroup E is showing the second highest median. And for this reason, the red box is shown at the left side of the main group A. However, it is shown at the right side of the group B. So in this code, I have shown how to order the boxes based on their median values within each main group. So until now, I have shown you how to order the boxes in a box plot based on median values. However, it's also possible to order other types of graphics with similar syntax. And in the next examples, I want to show you how to order the bars of a grouped bar plot based on their mean values. And we can do that as you can see in the following lines of code. So first we need to create a new data set, which is calculating the mean value for each subgroup in our data. And we can do that using the aggregate function, as you can see in lines 62 to 64. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data aggregate is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame at the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 65. And then you can see that we have created a new data frame, which contains our groups, our subgroups, and the mean value that corresponds to each of the subgroups. Now, in the next step, we can use these data to create a ggplot2 plot using the ggplot and geomcall functions. So after running lines 67 to 71 of the code, you can see that we have created a grouped bar plot. And within each main group, you can see our five subgroups. And you can see that at this point, each of the main groups is sorted the same way. So from A to E. Now, let's assume that we want to sort these main groups based on the mean values. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 73 to 82. So once again, I'm using the fill argument to reorder our values based on the subgroup means. And then, as in the previous example, I'm always adding each main group on top of this. So after running lines 73 to 82 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our grouped bar plot is updated and this time the mean values were responsible for the ordering in each of the main groups of our plot. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. 
In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.